Well, thank you, Your Excellency, uh, very beloved Deputy Governor. Let me also recognize the Head of Service, the Chief of Staff, the Deputy Chief of Staff. Uh, my colleagues in Council who are here, top government functionaries, no particular order. Let me recognize the NUDA Chairperson here and uh, my colleagues on the other side, who are actually my bosses actually. I want to say a very good morning to you all and also thank you for coming this morning. Today I'll be very brief, uh, and that's because uh, we're dealing with a very terrible flood uh, just this morning, like every other day. Uh, I received calls, my phone is inundated with calls and text messages of fellow buyers and school. Uh, we have a difficulty with the flood. And this morning as a government, our heart really goes out to all our brothers and sisters who are badly affected by this flood. They're everywhere in our community, as even in Bayelsa, and in the United State Capitol. So this morning I want to say to all of them that your government, as always, will be responsive, is responsive, will always do the needful, I want to thank His Excellency the Deputy Governor, uh, who has been going around to meet with uh, a number of them who are displaced in the various IDP camps and providing relief and all the support to enable them to get by. And let me also use the opportunity to thank the various organizations, and there are several of them, um, corporate organizations and indeed private individuals on their own who reach out to a number of these flood victims. And I want to encourage as many of us in our own private capacity as well to reach out to them. Um, your presence will mean a lot to them, even at this time. And it's on that note, uh, ladies and gentlemen, I want to welcome us all to today's transparency briefing. What has become a ritual, a ritual that has in earned us uh, accolades and recognition from far and wide. One thing we are always proud of is that we are now in model states. By Elsa is a model state of excellence. If you must clap, clap very well. You know, I think sometimes we don't celebrate ourselves well enough. Some of the things that we achieve as a government are by no means very commendable because, truth be told, a number of states are coming to copy us. And I think that we should be proud, all of us as Bayelsas, we should be very proud of what our government is doing. And for those of us who are serving in this government, one of the things that we should take away is that we are working with a dedicated, committed, focused team, leadership, that has provided the way all the way. And let me use this opportunity to thank His Excellency, the Governor of Ayos State, who has provided a common leadership. And thank also the Deputy Governor and all the members of the team, very hardworking, selfless, committed, dedicated, it's on that note I'd like to say a big welcome to all of you, even as we sit back to listen to His Excellency, um, as he gives us uh, the profile of the income and expectation for August and September. Thank you and God bless you. Thank you very much, David. Uh, the head of service, uh, members of the State Executive Council, Chief of Staff, the Deputy Chief of Staff, uh, Deputy Chief of Staff, Office of the Deputy Governor, Special Advisors, Senior Special Assistants, other top government functionaries, gentlemen of the press, and the bosses of Information Commissioner. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, a very good morning to you. 
We are here once again to state or give the income and expenditure report for the states for two months, August and September 2018, as we are gradually uh, winding towards the end of our stay, or not stay, the administration, because we are going to stay by us anyway. Uh, for those of us that want to stay, uh, those that have options may be moving from place to place, but by us the home. Uh, it is to be one of the enduring legacies that this administration will leave behind to challenge whoever it may please God to administer these states come February 2020. Now, August, as at the 31st of August 2018, first, the inflow from FAC. statutory allocation 3 billion 193 million 382,250 naira 6 cup Derivation eight billion six hundred and thirty one million six hundred and seventy two thousand five hundred and twenty five naira twenty six cover facts. 705 million 225,887 naira 74 cover forex equalization 733 million Four hundred and nine thousand four hundred and fifty four naira forty nine cover share of additional fund from NNPC three hundred and forty eight million five hundred and forty two thousand. 314 Naira 77 cover reforms from other states 57 million 532,352 Naira 43 cover there gross inflow from FAC stood at 13 billion 669 million 764,784 naira 75 call next is first line deduction at fact, first in the list, the bond deduction, which stood at 421 million, 546,663 naira, 
22 count. Foreign loans to states, recovery, 34 million, 374,000, 598 Naira, 38 Cobo, restructured, refund of overpayment of revised 30% derivation is going to be 13 of 120 installments. This money that has been paid to the states in the past in error, uh, we are paying it back. For this month, 128 million 363,000 68,950 naira 47 cover commercial agricultural credit scheme repayment 79 million 457,000 420 for Naira 93 cover that was scheme one there's again commercial agricultural credit scheme two 66 million 666,000 666 Naira 66 cover. Salary bill out to states. 29th of 120 installments. Sixteen million two hundred and seventy-nine thousand ten naira fifty-seven cover. Excess crude account loan facilities to states 126 million 675,773 naira 75 cover you restructured Commercial bank loans, 741 million, 156,852 naira, 48 cover. Therefore, the first line deductions are FAC, stood at 1 billion. 614 million 525,940 naira 46 cow. So the net inflow from fact for August 2018 was 12 billion. 55 million 238,844 naira 29 Then there are other receipts as well. First, IGA. The IGA receipt for July 2018 stood at 1 billion. 17 million 408,934 Naira 61 cover 
a reform from local government bailout was 16 million 279,010 Naira 57 cover. That means the total receipt, which means the gross minus first line deductions plus other receipt students, 13 billion. 88 million 926,789 naira 47 cup. So let's end it. Now we come to the side of art flow. Uh, this art flow is not fat art flow, this is our own art flow. First, bank loans and contractual agreements or guarantees, 2 billion, 66 million, 518,000, 53 Naira and 80 Cow. Salaries, civil servants, August 2018. That's for civil servants. 2 billion, 819 million. Two hundred and forty five thousand seven hundred and twenty five naira eighty four comma next salaries political appointees for August twenty eighteen four hundred and seventy five million. 690,117 Naira 98 Cup. Salary grants to tertiary institutions 630 million. 10% contributions. For primary school teachers, 57 million, 47 million, 173,236 naira, 30 cover, copper allowance, this is four months, 57 million eight hundred and sixty thousand nine hundred and sixty naira provision for collection of IGR fifty eight million five hundred and sixteen thousand five hundred and eighteen naira twenty two cover COT provision seventy six million three hundred and forty four thousand six hundred and thirty two naira seventy eight cover just a bit of explanation on the salary issue. Uh, we are to note by this 
or payroll related costs. When you sum up the various companies, we give you 4 billion and 29 million. That is the grants, political appointees, primary school, and caucus. Because when you hear civil servant 2.8, it becomes very attractive. Uh, that is not all. Uh, the payment, salary, involves all that. We have decided to break it down to the various companies. So total payments was six billion. 231 million 
95 cop. That was a statement as at the 31st of August 2018. And now move on straight to September 2018. Income expenditure report as at the 30th of September 2018. First inflows. The statutory allocation was three billion two hundred and fifty three million three hundred and twenty four thousand three hundred and seventy five naira ninety cover derivation ten billion seventy one million eight hundred and eighteen thousand six hundred and fifty eight naira thirty two cover VAT one billion thirty eight million five hundred and eleven thousand one hundred and fifty nine naira seventy three cover exchange gain difference four million four hundred and fifty five thousand two hundred and sixty six naira sixty three cover refund from other states fifty seven million five hundred and thirty two thousand three hundred and fifty two naira forty three cover there were gross inflow after fact stood at fourteen billion four hundred and twenty five million six hundred and forty one thousand eight hundred and thirteen naira one cover. Now, first line deductions. First, the bond. Bond deduction was saved 421 million 546,663 naira 22 cover. Foreign loans to states. Recovery thirty four million three hundred and seventy four thousand five hundred and ninety eight naira thirty eight cover restructured reform the proper payment or revised the thirteenth return derivation. One twenty eight million three hundred and sixty eight thousand five hundred nine hundred and fifty naira forty seven cover commercial agricultural credit scheme one seventy nine million four hundred and fifty seven thousand Four hundred and twenty-four naira ninety-three cover commercial agricultural credit scheme two sixty-six million six hundred and sixty-six thousand six hundred and sixty-six naira sixty-six cover so that bill out to states 
sixteen million two hundred and seventy nine thousand ten naira fifty seven cover access to the account loan facility to say one hundred and twenty six million six hundred and seventy five thousand seven hundred and seventy three naira seventy five cover we structured commercial bank loans seven hundred and forty one million one hundred and fifty six thousand eight hundred and fifty two naira forty eight cover therefore total first line deductions stood at one million six hundred and fourteen million five hundred and twenty five thousand nine hundred and forty naira forty six cover net inflow from fact for September 2018 was therefore 12 billion 811 million 115,872 naira 55 cover order receipts first idea for the month of August 2018, 1,114,967,259 Naira, 56 cover, Funds from other sources, 400 million. Refund from LG bail out, 16 million, 295,000, 10 naira, 57 cup. The total received there stood at 14 billion. Three hundred and forty two million three hundred and seventy eight thousand one hundred and forty two naira sixty eight call. Now to the outlook. First bank loans for contract two billion. 484 million 723,188 naira 75 color salaries civil servants September 2018 2 billion Eight hundred and seventeen million seven hundred and eighty seven thousand six hundred and sixteen naira forty five cover salaries political appointees four hundred and seventy two million six hundred and ninety thousand one hundred and seventeen naira ninety eight cover salary grants to tertiary institutions six hundred and thirty million 
salaries contribution, 10% contribution, primary school teachers pay 47 million. 173,236 naira 30 cover. Corpus allowances 61 million 622,960 naira. Provision for cost of IGA collection, 92 million 634,334 naira 67 cover. CO2 provision, 83 million 556,000. 498 Naira 78 cover. Total payment there was 6 billion 690 million 187 thousand 952 Naira 94 power. Again, the same applies the salary components, the entire salary components came up 4 billion and 27 million. Now, the next stage, look at the recurrent and capital payments. Recurrent payment for September 2018 was 3,238,318,000 Naira. Come to payment for September 2018, 3,344,216,753 Naira to come. Balance after recurrence and capital payment was therefore this time positive one billion sixty nine million five hundred and ninety one thousand Four hundred and twenty naira seventy two cover. But recall that the balance brought forward from August to the amount which was three billion three hundred and seventy six million three hundred and nineteen thousand. 363 Naira 95 cup. When we'll add this to the balance for the month after recurring and capital payments, the balance that was carried forward from September to October stood at 4 million 445 million. Nine hundred and ten thousand seven hundred 
and 84 Naira 67 Cover. That's the statement as at the 30th of September 2018. Thank you for listening. Your yes, Excellency, I would like to take maybe a few questions and reactions, if there are any, and you all know the way to do it. But once the microphone is passed onto you, you properly identify yourself, your name, the organization you represent, and go straight to your question. Please, no. Chairman, then you give us as a council. In some of our, one of our briefings, some months back, uh, I raised the issue of IGR, and I'm satisfied that the one billion mark we have maintained and is still going forward. But my question at this time is, I know we, the government was uh, pulling the IOCs in the states, especially the oil bearing uh, companies, to ensure that they pay what is due to the states. And that process was, I think, in the court, if I'm not mistaken. I want to know what is the position with that if they are all compliant today, and what is the state for others who are not compliant either. And thank you, sir. Sister, my name is Pauline Rubin of New Telegraph Newspaper. Uh, for so long a time now, we've been seeing this agreed loan being consistent. So I just want to know the actual amount and when the uh, loan is going to be. And which people collected the loan, sir? Thank you. Your Excellency, my name is Igodi Kondjumara. I write for AD Independent uh, Newspaper. Um, under what uh, under what subhead does the 50 million naira the government uh, directed to be released for impacted uh, victims, flood victims in state for under what under which I'm asking under what subhead does the 50 million naira directed by the government to be released in September for? Or has it not been released? Your Excellency, the capital payment for both August and September, we have in about eight billion there. Can we may we know where these funds were expended? Then secondly, uh, I've noticed that the salaries for civil servants keep from twenty. Um, is it due to the reforms? I thought it has stopped. What else could be the reason? Thank you. Okay, Your Excellency. My name is Lutu Yusuma, Chair of the Nigeria Association of Women and the Suma Board of the Charter. My um, question is on the provision for IJR collection for the month of August, which was put at 58 million naira, 516,000 naira. And then moving on to September, it rose to 92 million naira, um, 634,000, 33, 4 naira, 64. My question is the increase is um, sharp, and uh, I want to understand why that is. Secondly, the salaries for civil servants was put at 2 billion naira. Now, is that inclusive? Or pension as well. Thank you. You know, I have somebody on the left hand, it should be on the right hand. It should be my right hand man for today. Uh, but I will uh, do the technical, then I go to him. Uh, but it's just a general question, I will, I will answer because whatever you say will be noted. And it's, get, it's good to get a professional to make a professional answer what is required. Uh, the salaries, the salary was 2.8 civil servants. Certainly, that includes the pensioners also. Uh, that includes pensioners as, as well. Uh, provision for IGI collection, that one I think I will uh, allow uh, safe 
to answer. But if there are times when you are going, you want to collect your IGR, go to demand notices to various establishments, you have to employ the services of uh, uh, specialists to go after it. It's not a civil service job. Uh, these are people that are trained in the art of tax management. And some places, uh, you go there and you meet, you meet people. It's not every time that they succeed. And they continue getting more people. They are trying to go to court. And this idea thing we are seeing, court is also part of it. The litigations and all the rest are always a part of the collection. So it depends on what is happening in particular months. Uh, it, it can never be the same every month. It depends on what you have. Uh, there are times you have promises, you invest, and the dividend will come even the following month. It will not necessarily be on the month that you spend. But please, uh, Zebro, you may help us help out on the details of why, we will give some examples of why, I think, order 98 from 58. Your Excellency, um, the issue of uh, IGR cost of connection, we have uh, what we call the basic payments. The basic payments relate to payment to the platform platform consultants. Because uh, today when IGR is paid, you can see uh, on a real-time basis who paid in IGR, when it was paid, and how much was paid. There are consultants that are managing that process who have about 2 to 3% cost of collection. So that's the ratio. So as the uh, IGR increases, their uh, uh, collection also increases. We also have another portion that goes to the uh, MDAs. Uh, most of the MDAs, for instance, between 5 and 7% is given to some of the MDAs to enable them to manage their staff to ensure that the uh, IGR is collected. Those are the basic ones that are paid on a monthly basis. But, like His Excellency said, there are times that we have to get consultants, consultants to even buy information, some consultants have to go to these companies, especially the offshore companies, the IOCs you talked about. Some of them stay out of this environment, they have to go to the offshore. Uh, you need to pay some money sometimes to get information on the expatriates in those uh, the production facilities and all of that. So these are other costs that come with uh, driving the IGR process. Uh, like you said, sometimes you invest this month, you may make, uh, make a lot of investment, but the returns in form of an uh, increase in the IGR may not be in that one month. It could flow over uh, some months. So, so there is no uh, perfect relationship between the cost of uh, IGR collection and the IGR that's collected every month. Thank you. It's okay. I think they talk of salary fluctuation. I don't think there is, because if you look, the for the month of August, we said two point eight one nine. Uh, for the month of uh, September, two point eight one seven. Remember, uh, there are. Unless the number of the days in the month are equal, I am aware when we used to get salary in that way. As the month fluctuates, your salary also fluctuates. You don't get the same salary when they are working for 21 but 31 days and then 30 days. No, it doesn't happen that way. So it is not just fluctuation, it has to happen that way. Now, where capital is spent, very obvious, no, we've been trying to hurry up and hurry up and catch up the day we gave for the uh, commissioner of the airport, a lot of things spent there. We are aiming to get to uh, Karamo by December. As we are talking, bridges have been co constructed, some feeling is going on. Heavy capital investment. Uh, we're trying to see how far we can sandfill and start building a bridge to Bruma. Heavy capital investment. Several of that. So even, even the payment is even small. If actually we need to pay more to be able to actually get to where we are going, but the target is December. So I think that is, those are the major areas. Then when they cross over, we want to see that all of course is completed. The stadium, we want to commission it. 
uh, Polo Club. For those of you that know our right horse, uh, we shall meet here. And I hope I'm going to meet here before we leave. Uh, those are the, the major ones now. So there are other ones, maybe some roads that are there, payments are going on. Uh, a lot is going on on that. Even housing projects that we are backing on, those are capital projects. Uh, if you see uh, uh, just opposite Nigeria Content Development Board, uh, construction hubs are going on. Even the stores, markets, stores, opposite borders are they are going on. If you cross to Ayama, they are going on. Uh, a, lot of, a lot of things are going on. That's why the capital project gone. Now, the fraud, money for fraud, that, that is a recurrence. And it's not just uh, 50, we spend far more than that. It's not a recurrence. It's from there that we, we pay. It, we, we spend more than 50. 50 was initial. We spend each of when it happened so that we, before we established the, uh, the IDPs, uh, centers, uh, we had to reach out to some uh, local areas where the cry was so much. Uh, we didn't want to wait. That's why we tried to reach them before we established that. So we spent far more than that. Amplic loan, uh, why is it not reducing? Uh, until you finish paying. Because if that is what we are supposed to pay a month, a monthly, and there is also interest. Uh, those of them that collect their biasans, uh, by us, I collected, we tried to, uh, we got a list when we came, and I'm sure that is what informed action that we have tried to take in subsequent disbursement of the loans. Uh, people are not ready to pay. I don't think anybody paid. I don't think anybody paid. But this time, we are making people to pay. But because we guarantee that money. They don't even need to ask you, they will just take the money. When time comes, the federal government will just collect the money. They are not going to debate with you. Uh, but people are not ready to pay the names. No most of the names, but uh, I think we are not going to mention the names here. But they are violent. And they collect some up to 50 million and they go. Uh, when we came, we tried to invite them. They were looking at their face and telling me, yes, I collected the loan. What are you going to do? <laughs> so that's the Arabic loan. Yeah, the IOC position, you know, in money matter, uh, nobody wants to voluntarily give you his money. Uh, he has to protect himself because uh, their business, business, the essence of business is making money, making profits. Uh, but we have tried as much as we can. Uh, some of us are in court with us. I think uh, well, the Attorney General was in Port Harcourt last week uh, in connection with some of the companies that are not actually uh, cooperating. Uh, we start demand notices on most of them and some of them agreed we should settle out of court. So negotiation is ongoing. Uh, they are not at least cooperating to the extent that we want. Uh, I may recall that when we came initially, just like what Lagos did, we wanted to establish a security trust fund and we felt that the IOCs were in a better position to contribute, because after all, if waterways are safe, uh, they benefit more. Uh, we are very enthusiastic. Uh, we set up a committee, we met with them, and they promised uh, by the time it was, we are ready to present uh, exact request to them. They sent lower level management for the meeting. Uh, people that cannot take decision for the company, which clearly shows that they are not actually interested in it. Uh, so we have been going up and down. Uh, we don't fight them, but they also make a position known that when something is right. So those ones are in court. Uh, if you cannot settle out of court, maybe you go to the see to the end. Uh, so there's some areas in there is prospect that uh, will be able to improve uh, earning from them. But you know this offshore, onshore, that could be still there. People hide under that also and interpret it the way they want. But you know at the end it's a court that can give the final interpretation. And we believe in due process and engaging them. It, we want to engage them in a way that will be mutually beneficial to all of us. After all, uh, we need peace in this area for development. When they are developing, when they are earning, we can also get more prevention and move forward. 
then that's what I can say on that. Unless there is another query for me to attend to. Maybe. Yeah, let's please put down the graph His Excellency. Yes.